Hey folks, I'm Jen Foxbot and welcome to Maker Quest. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to build your very own sound reactive light up costume. Yeah! So if you watched the video on the um, light up dog harness, this project is actually really similar to that one. It uses the SparkFun EL sequencer, um, but as you might have guessed, I tweaked it a little bit to fit me instead of my dog, and I'm using a sound detector instead of an ambient light sensor. So, um, like I just mentioned, this project uses the SparkFun EL Sequencer, which is a board specifically designed to control EL wire, which stands for Electroluminescent Wire. EL wire is a really awesome uh, light-up wire that um, stays cool, so it's really good for uh, wearable applications because it means that you won't burn yourself, which is good, <laughs> and it's flexible, so you can attach it to all kinds of different stuff. So one word of caution, EL wire is pretty high voltage. It's 100 volts AC. Um, it's low current, so there's not much risk of actually electrocuting yourself, but it's always better to be careful. So just make sure that everything is powered down when you touch exposed traces and leads and things like that. All right, so now that the safety warning is out of the way, uh, the EL sequencer is a really awesome microcontroller, which you can program just like an Arduino in the Arduino platform and it allows you to power your EL wire with a battery, which is good, so then you can leave your house with your outfit. And um, it has a bunch of different input and output pins, including a spot for radio frequency. So you could even add in some wireless features if you want to get real crazy. So this project uses the SparkFun sound detector, which has three different outputs. So the first one is the gate output, which is a digital signal, so it's high when there's a sound detected and low when there's no sound detected. It um, also has an audio output, which is uh, the actual amplitude of your sound. So if you have like a music visualizer or something like that, it'll actually look pretty similar to that. And then the envelope output is the average amplitude of the sound output. So I wanted to trigger this based on the beat of uh, particular music, or my voice, I guess. <laughs> um, so I ended up using the gate output to turn the EL wire on when there is a sound signal. So when the gate output is high, I wait about a second, and then I turn it off, and then it just repeats. So it's just in a loop. So it's really simple and really easy, but it actually works really well. If you want to make a little bit more accurate trigger, you can analyze the audio or envelope outputs and use those. So you're welcome to use my program. Um, it's in the tutorial, which is linked to in the video description below. But I definitely recommend you play around with the outputs of the sound detector because they're, they're really cool to see. And then you can figure out how you want to trigger your costume. Or you can even get real crazy and trigger different strands based on different signals. So lots of different options. So tons of uses for your creativity and ingenuity. Once you've programmed the EL sequencer in the Arduino platform, um, make sure you test it and that it works as expected. Then go ahead and pick your outfit. So EL wire can be attached to all kinds of different stuff. Boots, jackets, pants, shirts, etc. Um, so whatever type of costume you want to make, go for it. Um, I recommend using different EL wire strands for different articles of clothing to make it easier to take on and off. And then there are two things that I recommend you do before you attach anything. The first one would be to figure out where you're going to put all the electronics. So in my case, I made a belt pouch. So I just cut out a pocket from an old jacket, sewed it onto a belt, and then I stick all the electronics in here. So when I walk around, they're all just chilling in there, no problem. Um, and then the second thing is you want to put the clothes on and safety pin the EL wire where you want it to go. So that allows you to figure out where you want to place it, what type of pattern you want to create. Um, and it also helps to make sure that you can take the clothes on and off. Um, the EL wire is flexible, but it's not exactly stretchy. So give yourself some breathing room, literally. <laughs> um, so yeah, so once you've figured that out, uh, go ahead and adhere the EL wire to your costume. So I ended up using dental floss, a little bit of a trick that I learned in high school. Uh, dental floss is really inexpensive and it's super, super strong. So it's really useful for stuff like this. That's basically it. So then the last thing you'll want to do is make a protective casing for the sound detector. To do that, I used some packing foam. So I just cut out a hole for the sound detector, mounted it in there, and then used um, some glue to keep it in place. And then I also uh, covered the wires to protect them a little bit. 
Um, and then I definitely recommend that you secure the electrical connections because that's going to be the point of failure in this costume. So you can do that uh, with hot glue if you don't want things to be super permanent. I like to do that so I can modify things or fix things as needed. Or if you want this costume to be really robust and like impossible to break, use some type of epoxy. Um, there's also lots of different things you can do, like electrical tape and stuff like that, but I like, I like the glues because it gets in all the cracks and protects everything really well. So that's pretty much it. Um, I will leave you with a question, and that is, why do we need the case for the sound detector? So think about that, and to answer the question from the last video, I asked, what happens when you clap in a vacuum? Well, actually, nothing really happens. I mean, you can clap just fine, but you won't hear anything. And that's because sound needs a medium to transport. So basically, when you clap in a vacuum, there's no air molecules to transfer the sound generated from your hands to your ears so you don't hear anything. So it's totally silent, which would be pretty weird, actually. Super cool. All right, so please let me know if you have any questions about uh, that explanation or about this costume. Check out the video description below for the full tutorial, including the program. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe.